Welcome back everyone. I've just collected today from Tony's Trains of Rugby um, this Rapido Hunslet 16 inch 060 ST. Um, highly recommend Tony's Trains of Rugby. Uh, very nice chap. So what I'm going to do is a, an unboxing and a little ring session. I just got to get into it first. The locomotive I chose was NCB Lined Blue Holly Bank Number no. Three. It's a standard DC model. Sound one not being available currently, as far as I'm aware. Box is a very nice, sturdy construction, as you come to expect nowadays. Very similar to the EFE box. Modern Dapol boxes. Comes with a owner's manual. Feel free to pause that and read it if required. Hopefully, it's readable. Shows you the uh, chipping procedure and the lubrication. And you should you be lucky enough to get one at sound fitted at the sound functions. Bit about the limited warranty. And uh, their address here in the UK. That's uh, a very interesting. Uh, parts list that I think I would need to blow up on a photocopier or uh, definitely magnify it because it is very small. There's the locomotive. Pouch there for accessories but there's none. Nice to have the uh, flame starring top and bottom stopping any uh, transit damage, hopefully. This is my first unboxing of the locomotive. Just excuse the sparkles in the uh, <laughs> service here. There's some wrapping paper. So I'll set it to one side. Reminds me of the uh, six wheel packets from Hornby in terms of size. Very similar to that. Interesting roof feature going on in the roof for some reason. I don't know what that is. Let's see if I can show you some of the inside cab detail. Reasonably heavy actually. I think I'm going to get it on the rolling road. Get it going. So this is the first run on a Gage Master Series 100 controller. Sure will be when I plug it in. First crawl out of the box. A little bit of a waddle on that. That's the position of the rolling road. Still trying to find its. Uh, It's 
50%. And I'm going to leave that room for a while. Join me back later if it's running. Just about make out the fire blocks glow in the uh, camp. Another angle of the firebox glow reflecting on the uh, rear of the cab. You can see there's also picked out in red underneath the uh, boiler and with the tank uh, a small amount of valve gear and a nice selection of uh, picked out in red rods. Reverse as lever, I'm not quite sure what the other one is. Definitely got a bit of a, a wobble there on the wheel set. Forward motion. Done the reverse now for 30 minutes, now it's doing forward. I would say looking at that, the quartering slightly out on one of the wheel sets. Still running in. That's it with about an hour's running in. It's had, uh, let's see, half an hour in reverse on speed step 50 on the DC control, the uh, gauge master. And uh, I varied it between 40 and 50 in forwards. We've still got the slight lurching motion. Um, what I'm going to do is just drop um, this. Hornby packet on the on the road, which I've had from new and it's sat in its box, um, other than to test it to make sure it functions. It's not even been run in, and let's see how it's, this performs. That's interesting. You can see there's a high spot on that. That's still wobbling a little bit. So it could be the rolling road. Don't know. I've got the packet running now. <laughs> there's a side by side comparison. So you can see the size. Packet is quite a bit small. <laughs> right, let's see how she runs on the track.
So it's a lovely loco, well applied livery. I think it just needs a bit more running in. I'll perhaps post a video later in the week after I've had more chance to run it in.